Welcome back, everybody. This is Black Art 6 again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue on with our, our next uh, video in this series. Uh, we, we showed you on how to get a project started. And so now we're going to do um, the Scenario Framework Create tutorial or Setup tutorial. So let's get into it. Here's our uh, YouTube SF tutorials we started with uh, last video, the introduction. So let's open it. And it brings up your Infusion Workbench, and like we said, this is our this is our tabletop. And let's go ahead and open up the World Editor. Now, what we're going to do in these these series of videos is I'm going to go through um, the wikis. We're going to use the wikis to walk through this stuff. Now, I'm not going to go line by line because I, I I pretty much know how to do all this stuff. So. Uh, but we will cover what's in World Setup and show you some of the pitfalls of, you know, what's not in here that you need to know. Um, so, and then we have the other wiki, the Scenario Framework one, which has all the information about the Scenario Framework. It's really good. Uh, they've done a pretty good job building it out and getting it w with the, you know, content. And we're going to go through that in later videos. So for this video here, Scenario Framework Setup Tutorial, we're going to set up our world. We might get into Scenario Framework Setup. Remember, we want to keep it to 15 minutes. So uh, let's get going. Um, the first thing you have to do, sorry, let's bring that back up. So we're doing world setup. You have to get your world, pick your world, uh, and set it up. So in our case here, we're going to use, I think, Arland. So what you want to do is open, hit the little folder, and then you want to find the Arland world. And uh, you just click on the Arland. Do not use empty Arland ENT and open it. And it will open the world up for you. Now the next step that you have to do is you have to create a sub scene of this. This is the world, and it's locked by Bohemia, because they're the one that made it. So you want to create a sub-scene of this world. And we have that now. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to save your world. Okay, right here, save world, but you can't do that just yet. And they, they don't allude to it until the end of that little section called World Setup, but you got to do this before. Um, so now is the best time to do that. So what you do is go down to your folder, YTSF Tutorials that we're at here, and you can either right-click and create a new folder, or you can go Create, New Folder here, or... Uh, can you do it here? I don't think you can. No. Mm -mm. So I just like to right click and you have to put this folder in here and it's got to be named worlds. No way around that. And we want to create another folder and we're going to call it missions. That's another mandatory folder. This next folder, you can call it whatever you want. Artwork, um, images, art, uh, I like to use images from my uh, Arma 3 days. And then you have to have these folders in here. And, and you will even add more folders as we go. But these three are the ones you want to get started. All right. So um, the next step in this process is to save your world. Now that we have worlds here, and you can see that it did it. So we're just going to call this... To Arlen. Okay, that's the name of our world. Um, and that's, I think, it for that. Let's go back. So, open the world editor. Yes, did all that. Once this process is done, save the world. Yes, we did. And then it says, try and use the same directory structure as Armor Reforger. So, um, world, world name. Uh, we can actually, let's do that. We can go back. Show you a little tip. Uh, so you go in here. You see how we just did a single one. We can create a new folder. 
call it Arland. And we're going to put everything in there then. Okay. And then that way, uh, if we wanted to do another world, we could do open up a new world and do uh, Eden. So let's show that. Um, this way you can have your mission, your scenario, in multiple worlds. All within one scenario. So a little, little deviation from the... Uh, little deviation from the wiki, but uh, I think we've got uh, time. We're only five minutes in on this video. So there we have that. Um, now let's go back or create a new folder. And we're going to call this Everon, or we'll call it Eden. Let's, let's use some different naming conventions here. And then we want to, we've already created the sub scene, so let's save it. YouTube. SF to Eden. And there we go. So now we have two worlds, uh, Eden and Arland, and we want to work in Arland for the rest of this. So we're going to go back over to here. And there we go. Now we're back in now we're back into Arland. So let's see, where are we at here? All right, so we did that. So the next thing we want to do is the scenario framework setup. All right, this is a great tool uh, that they have. Uh, it assists you in setting up all the managers that you need for this uh, scenario, for this project. Now, the first thing I like to do here is I'm going to rename this layer. Okay. This is a world layer, not a game layer. Well, all right, so when you click here, it says create a layer. You are creating a world layer, I call it. It's a little hamburger uh, layer. Now, the next thing you want to do is we want to run the plugin. Okay, there is a plugin called Game Mode Setup. You go to that plugin, and for you campaign guys that like to make conflict, you, this is the same thing that you're going to do here for that. So if there's any of y'all here, um, and what you do is you locate this file in the resource browser, and you can select a new file, okay, um, from there. But we're going to stick with... Uh, Scenario framework because that's what we're working in. But here's your other config files uh, for those other two modes. So we hit next. And so it's going to scan the world to see if there's anything present here. And there is not. So it tells us, you know, you're missing all these things. We need to add them. Hit next. Uh, the plugin will now create required. Yes. Create the entities. All right, so there you see it popped in real quick, and then it tells you that they were created, but you may need to do some manually configuration of these entities, and they're telling you that right here. So hit next, and then for the game mode to appear in the scenario, it needs a mission header. So we're going to go ahead and create that header now. You don't have to. You can skip that. And go ahead and give them permission to do this. So yes to all. And the mission header is created. And then congratulations, game mode is configured correctly. Give it a try and hit that play button. Do not hit the play button. Okay, it is not done yet. You will just have problems. So don't hit the play button. All right. And what it did is it flipped us over to the Infusion Workbench when it created the, the mission header. So... And here's where, you know, we can set up the name of our world. So our YouTube SF, uh, what are we going to call this? Tutorial. Okay, and then you put your name in here. 
get credit for your work. And we'll fill the rest of this stuff out later. Um, you know, you can down and dirty to put stuff in here. You cannot use these default placeholders. We have to change these and we'll change them at a later date uh, before we publish. How are we looking on time? Uh, 10 minutes yet. So uh, let's see where are we at. So let's go to the world editor back over to this. Um, so it put all the files into our uh, world that we need and we are going to change some of these out. Let's see what's the next step here. Uh, we did all that. So very good. The next thing is the scenario framework usage. Create a spawn area. And we're going to stop here because I don't have enough time. I'll run over the 15-minute uh, mark. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and stop this video here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to talk about these entities a little bit. Uh, before we get into the actual scenario and start laying down layers and everything. Okay, so appreciate it. Thank you very much and watch out for the next video.